Hi, I'm Melanie from Balloon Artworks and today I'm going to show you how to make this fabulous box character bouquet. So check out the materials list that's coming up and we'll make it together. You're going to need to seal your foil head, whether it's an animal head or a smiley face or an emoji face. And I always used to seal them, well I used to seal them a lot, I would seal at the bottom and gradually work my way up, I hope you can see that, the ridges in the foil, sealing along several times to uh, really try and make sure the foil was not going to deflate. And actually that's completely unnecessary. If you're doing it the right way, you just need to seal it once. And there's nothing really wrong with doing it this way, but I learned from experience. So this was absolutely fine until the job I got where I needed about 20, 25 of these things. And I'd sealed everything a couple of weeks in advance. I was you know, trying to be efficient in how I was doing things sealed everything well in advance and then the job was cancelled. I was still paid because I was in the cancellation period so I didn't lose out any money but I was left with lots and lots of sealed foil heads so there was then a a drive to try and offload these things um, just to I don't like to waste things so um, I'll now show you how I seal the heads and actually if I'd done it this way in that situation it wouldn't have been a problem so I'll show you now what I do okay so you're going to need the impulse heat sealer to seal the head if you haven't got one of these and you don't want to buy one, then just make sure that you buy a head that is already sealed. Or make your own head that is um, a twisted version. Okay, so we inflate this with the hand pump. And at this point, you want to pinch off the the neck and then just run your finger and thumb along the neck pushing the air into the head from that um, from that neck and you can see that is completely uninflated now this bit needs to be completely flat when you put it onto the heat sealer I've got my heat sealer set at three so you need to put that so it's completely flat on the uh, heat sealer and then just press and wait for it to cut out and then release and that is now completely sealed so what I used to do I used to then seal it again further and further up the neck and as I said I I had the job that was then cancelled so <laughs> I've got lots of pre-sealed heads that uh, I um, you know, didn't know what to do with. And actually, if I had done it this way, I would have quite simply been able to snip off the neck here, cut here, which I'm not going to do this time, and just deflate the head. And then the head would have been easy to store, ready to be used at a convenient time, rather than me feeling that I had to offload the heads quite quickly. So the, the trick here is to ensure that that neck is absolutely flat when you put that seal on. To make the base you're going to need eight five inch round balloons and I'm using lime green. So take your hand pump and I'm going to inflate the first four to about four and a half inches. Okay, and make duplets. Let's just round these off and tie. Okay, and make another one of those the same size, and then take the other duplet and just twist them together to make a cluster of four. 
Um, the next set we're going to make about four inches. We're doing exactly the same thing. Round them off, tie together. Okay, so we've got a cluster of four at four and a half inches and we've got a cluster of four at four inches. And all we want to do now is merge the two. Okay, so we've got the large cluster on the top and the small cluster on the bottom. You can add a water weight or a sand weight. I very often favour sand weights. Uh, today I'm using one of these little superstar shapes. They fit quite nicely as well. It just depends on how much time you've got, what you've got in stock. So I'm just attaching a bit of 260, tying that on, and then that fits quite snugly into the base. Okay. And there we've got our base. Next you're going to need three 160s and I'm using lime green and I've got a couple with a tail of about two fingers and then I have one that has a longer tail of perhaps about 45 fingers. And at the start of each one of our 160s, you're going to make a series of three three finger loop twists. So you're just folding the balloon. I'm trying to get those loop twists as close as possible for the same size. Okay, and do that on the other two. We want to wrap our 160s into the cluster base. I'm allowing a stem of perhaps about 12 inches or so. I'm twisting the um, 160 in half and then I'm just pulling that through the top layer. And then I'm going to do the same with the other two 160s. doesn't matter if each one is not quite 12 inches it's quite nice if, if they are different heights Just pull those through and then with that last one just pull it across the center to lock everything in place so at this point we want to replicate our series of three loops on the remaining half of the 160s. Okay, and when you've done that, you can just snip off the end of this bit and tie it in. This one's quite well inflated, so I'm gonna to have to be careful deflating it. I'm just going to snip off the end and very gradually let out the air, wrap that in a little bit and then just tie that. Okay and I'm just going to trim off that tail. And there we've got our base, so if you've got some stems that are taller, position those in the back so that when we bring this design together and put the flower heads on, the flower heads will be at different heights and so that looks, looks rather pleasing. So next we're going to make the rose heads, so take a 260, I'm using red, ruby red and I've got a tail of perhaps about five or six fingers take the nozzle and wrap it a couple of times into uh, one of your clusters of three loop twists. So give your red balloon a squeeze and I'm making a bubble of about four fingers. And then I'm making a two finger bubble which I'm pinch twisting followed by another two finger bubble which I'm pinch twisting as well. Make sure your balloon is nice and soft 
bring it back down and we want to make another bubble that matches this one. Let that in. And bring that up. Make a third bubble. And another bubble. Bring it down and make a fourth bubble. And we can break this off and wrap that in. Okay, so that's one way to do a little rose and that, that's more of a, a rose bud. An alternative way to make our rose flower heads is to take a red 260 with a six finger tail and start off by making a bubble of a couple of fingers followed by another bubble about the same size. Bring those two together, twist round and use that nozzle to pinch twist those two bubbles. And then we want to squeeze off a bubble of about four fingers and then wrap that into one of those clusters of three loop twists. Give your red balloon a squeeze and twist off a bubble to match the first one. And then wrap that in and make another bubble to match the first two. Okay, so very similar to the, uh, the first rows so far and then what we want to do we want to keep the rest of this balloon quite soft and we want to stretch it out a little bit so that it's partially uninflated and squeeze that in between those two bubbles and then again keeping it very soft wrap that 260 around those two pinch twists and bring the 260 back down and into that cluster of line balloons and you've got a nice rose head. So break this off and wrap that tail in. And then make some more roses to finish off the flowers. If you've got a rose design that you prefer, then use that one. There are so many rose designs out there. You know, you can do the full rose, you can do the rosebud. Um, you know, it's your design. You make those design choices yourself and make this design your own. Now, if you want to, you can finish the design here just by adding a bow. So I'll quickly show you how to do that. So take a 160, I'm using red with a couple of fingers of tail and I'm making a loop that's about four fingers and pull the nozzle through there and then make another loop that matches that first one. Okay, and then you want to make a pinch twist so that's about two fingers followed by another pinch twist so make another bubble of a couple of fingers and pinch twist that. For this particular design, I just like to have a pinch twist on both sides of the bow. I just think it just makes things a little bit more um, stable. Okay, and just to give your bow a little bit of shaping, just part the loops a little bit. Okay, and give your balloon a nice squeeze and a stretch. And then you want to take your design and just wrap that bow, wrap that turn balloon around and into those pinch twists a couple of times. And I think I will go around a second time. I've got enough balloon to do that. So I'm just going to go around a second time. 
wrap that in at the front and then I'm just going to trim off the end here and tie. Position the flowers so that the larger, the taller roses are in the back. If you want, you can leave it at that. So take your fox's head and a little scrap of 260. I've cut the tip off uh, my little bit of scrap. And then we just want to use this 260 just to seal, just to secure the head. So I'm just rolling that along that long neck. And then when I get to about this point, I'm folding that in half. So I'm sealing it as I would, or tying it off as I would uh, a regular foil. And then I'm just pulling this tight. So that's secure. And once I've done that, I'm tying a second time. Next, take two five inch white rounds and just put a puff of air into each one and tie low on the neck. And then we're gonna split this in half just by putting our finger either side of that nozzle and twisting. Okay, take that nozzle, wrap it around, that will help secure that in position. Take the next one and do the same. Just split it in half and take the nozzle, just wrap that round. And then take the two of them and just wrap them together to make a cluster of four. Take your fox's head and using that tail, just pull that through into that cluster of four and secure the head. For the next stage, we need a quick link. If you haven't got an orange quick link, don't worry. You will need a diamond clear quick link and a five inch round orange and a chopstick. Just put the round balloon on top of the chopstick and then use that to help you insert it into the diamond clear quick link. And then we're going to inflate this to about four and a half inches. Okay, and then we're going to tie that off. Next, take two white five inch rounds and just put one puff of air into each one. It's about three inches. And then we're going to split each one in half. So just put your finger either side of the nozzle and twist in half. Take the nozzle and just wrap that around. Take the next one and do the same. And take each one and wrap them together. Take the tip of your quick link and wrap that into that cluster of four there. And take those nozzles and just wrap them into the neck. For our fox's tail, I'm using a bit of a 260 orange. I've made a bubble of about eight inches or so and I've got a little piece of white 260, the tip, and I'm just going to inflate that and leave a bubble of a couple of inches or so. And actually I'm going to tie that directly onto my 260 orange. I'm going to trim off these tails then take another bit of white 260 and make two two finger bubbles, bring those together, twist and use that little nozzle to pinch twist those, give your balloon a squeeze and then just wrap that 260 around the join of your white 260 and the orange 260. And you can break this off and tie. That's our little tail. Give it a little bit of shaping. And then take our fox and we're just going to wrap that tail 
into that cluster of four bubbles at the base. To make the fox's arms, I'm using the 260 orange with a good long tail, inflated about halfway. We're not going to use all of it. Take the nozzle and wrap it into our fox's neck. Okay. And at this point, you want to take your display and we're just going to wrap the fox's arms fairly gently around the cluster of flowers. Decide how long you want the arms to be and then just twist off a bubble and wrap that into those four bubbles at the neck. And just wrap that round a couple of times and then you can cut this off and tie that off. And then just adjust everything, adjust the flowers, adjust the box until everything is positioned as you want it to be. For those of you who want to go a stage further and uh, actually twist the fox's head, I have another video available on how to make a gentleman fox and the head, that head works very, very well on this body. The two go very well together. Mm -hmm.